to Independent Women's Forum senior fellow Patrice Lee on Luca, Democratic strategist Richard Goodstein, and former Bush 43 Get Out the Vote director Philip Stutz. Uh, Patrice, let me start with you. <laughs> I, I, listen, uh, uh, over the weekend, um, Cory Booker, Senator Cory Booker, tweeted out something very similar, and I retweeted uh, pot meat kettle. I mean, are you serious? The Democrats are complaining about what's in the bill? Are you serious? It's, it's unbelievable. It's like we're living in a twilight zone right now where the years have been reversed. You know, I mean, it, it's amazing that now all of a sudden taking your time and, and, and trying to this effort to slow down the repeal of Obamacare is happening. I'm not surprised it's coming from them. You know, the American people, though, have voted over the past four elections for repeal. And I think we can all agree that it needs to happen. Richard, there's no doubt about that. And, you know, listen, I don't know. The Democrats have been kind of quiet on this, and I think maybe that's smart, to be quite frank with you. But I did have uh, a, a Dr. Emanuel on, on last week, and he was pretty adamant that this thing is working and that somehow everyone's got it all wrong. Well, look, Charles, we're in parallel universes. Let's, let's stipulate to that. The, the notion that we have to take any guidance from a president who said nobody knew how complicated healthcare would be, to me, kind of underscores the problem here, okay? The fact of the matter is, there, yes, you could take a, a kind of a Nancy's comments out of context. What she meant was there was so much in the bill, the public would see how much was in it after it passed. And, sh and sure enough, we have tens of millions of people now who are insured who weren't. We actually have um, healthcare costs overall coming down. Yes, there are some outlier states like Arizona, but overall, Compared to forecasts, health care outlays are down. Um, and in many respects, the outcomes are better. There are fewer people being readmitted into hospitals. There's more preventive care. So, yes, what, what Dr. Emanuel said is true. But I guarantee you, there's probably not a soul in your audience who believes that. Uh, well, well, Philip, Philip yeah. you don't have to be a marketing genius, even yeah. though you are. To, to make a counter argument, I don't think. But the Republicans, to President Trump's uh, point, are wading into some dangerous waters in the sense that if they don't get this right, this not only will be their last chance, but they'll own it. That, that's right. And whenever you have a monstrosity of a law, well, you're going to have some good sides and some bad sides. Look, Pelosi's whole point in this is to try to get third party validation from the Congressional Budget Office. You know, that's the whole point. They know that the, the Congressional Bo Budget Office wants an individual mandate. They know they're going to come out and say that less people will be insured. Remember, the same CBO that in 2010 said 21 million people would be insured at this point, uh, and we only have 12 million, that, you know, we have lower and middle class people whose premiums are going up. By the way, I have a pre existing condition. My rates are through the roof. When I call Obamacare, I can't get through to anybody. I can tell you this when I call, I get a different message every Every time we call in to Obamacare to try to figure out different problems that I'm that I'm experiencing, and I can't get all of my prescriptions filled, and right. I have a Cadillac plan, so it doesn't work quite as well as the people that don't know, understand and haven't been there. Well, here's the thing, Patrice. Uh, the CBO is going to be releasing their score in a couple of hours, perhaps, and uh, you know they did get a lot of things wrong uh, with their initial scoring, including the number of people they thought at this point would be uh, covered. Uh, the, you know the amount of uninsured. It's 28 million. They thought it would be 21 million. Having said that, do you think the Democrats are going to pounce on the idea that fewer people, at least from the CBO's point of view, will have coverage? They absolutely are. I mean, they're looking for an avenue to to thwart the efforts for repeal. Uh, now, whatever the CBO comes out with, I think we're expecting it's not going to be great for this bill. Um, and, but it, but it does highlight the fact that you know we need to ensure that any sort of reforms to our health care system are actually going to work. I mean, just listen to the example of my other guests, other panelists here. He's not alone. But it's also not just premiums. It's high deductibles. And, and I thought it was interesting when um, the CBO director over the weekend talked about his own health care about the care horror stories of having twelve thousand fifteen thousand um, dollar deductibles too many americans have that and i don't think we're we, we really need to see some real reforms that are going to stop that and, and and reform our healthcare system richard 10 million on the marketplace exchanges 12 million on medicaid uh, but to patricia's point the key word is acce uh, accessible uh, it's not really accessible if it costs you uh, uh, your car uh, <laughs> you know just for a deductible yeah here's the problem it's the Trump base, Charles, that's going to get clobbered by this. It's people in rural communities because there's not really kind of a recognition of the fact that some costs are higher in some areas of the country than others. In, in cities, there's tons of hospitals, a lot of competition. And people 55 and older are going to get clobbered. That's the Trump base. And you know what? 
you know, the fact is, they will get care, right. just the care they got pre-Obamacare, which is they'll go into emergency rooms. But everybody knows that's the most inefficient way to provide health care to well, anybody. you know what? We're going to get it fixed, uh, or at least we're going to get an alternative. So we'll see what it's all about. Uh, guys, thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank Bye. you. Uh,